We go in-depth now with the Target 12 investigation, extreme flooding. You don't need us to tell you severe flooding has been impacting the region lately, and now we're getting a detailed look at that impact that and what it's had on owners, homeowners and taxpayers. Target 12 investigator Kate Wilkinson joins us now in studio and Kate, uh, your colleagues Tim White and Eli Sherman obtained some data from the Federal Emergency Management Agency or FEMA. It really illustrates the impact that's being felt here. That's right. The data from FEMA flood insurance program. Take a look at these numbers. In the last five years, flood insurance payments to Rhode Island homeowners have skyrocketed from just $11,000 in 2019 to more than 1.6 million in 2021, 2 million in 2022 to more than $2.5 million in 2023. It's important to note that most private insurance companies won't provide flood insurance coverage because it's too risky, which is is why the feds have stepped in with insurance for people who live in a flood zone. Most banks require flood insurance in order to get a mortgage. Here are the numbers on how many people have coverage in Rhode Island. Data shows there are nearly 11,500 policy holders in Rhode Island paying for $3.2 billion in coverage and flood insurance is not cheap. That's for sure. And there are several neighborhoods we know in Rhode Island that have gotten so bad that the government is now buying the houses. That's right. Now, Target 12 profiled two neighborhoods last night. Residents on low lying Market Street in Warren has been targeted for relocation and the Abbott Avenue section on East Providence, where 14 homes and five vacant lots are being bought up using federal funds. The head of the Department of Environmental Management says those homes will be torn down and turned into a flooding buffer. In a perfect world, it should look like a wetland and it should provide that that flood storage capacity that we're really lacking in some of our, our urban areas right now. We need storage capacity to handle that water when it comes in and then ease it back into into the bay and the water bodies when the storm stops. Some of these impacts have just been so devastating. A Target 12's full report can be found on WPRI.com. Kate Wilkinson, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me.